Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today I am showing off my enamel pin jacket, as well as opening some new ones that I just got in and adding them to the jacket. So for those that don't know, I have started doing a, a pin jacket. It's been something that's kind of been on my mind for a long time, and then I slowly built up buying some, and the, this is going to be entirely all Star Wars, um, so yeah, and I've gotten them from a variety of places. Um, as you can see, a bunch of uh, 501st guys there, and then Wolf, and then, so when I bought these, they only had these two uh, from the Bad Batch. The rest of the team is out now. I just haven't got it yet. And then a bunch of Rogue One stuff up there. Got Vader, um, mainly a bunch of Boba Fett stuff up there. A few little planets. But anyway... Um, I got on some new stuff. One thing that I've really, really been wanting to add to the jacket, because I think I kind of have one, maybe? Yeah. But I've been wanting to do vehicles. So I was just really kind of looking around everywhere. So some of these I got off eBay, some off Amazon, some off Etsy. Uh, but I was just really having a hard time finding vehicles. And then I finally, uh, finally found some on Etsy. Or, sorry, not Etsy, on Amazon. There are some on Etsy I was, I've been looking at as well. But uh, these were pretty cheap sets. Um, the, for, I don't know. They're all like the same kind of set, but they had a variety of prices. So uh, they, they did these little exclusive Amazon sets. Nope, turned the wrong way. So this is like the indoor set, which you can see, again, I'm looking for vehicles. So that ATST is awesome. That uh, uh, Scout Trooper with the speeder bike is super cool. And then I also really like these, uh, like, uh, touristy, you know, camp on indoor. Uh, they all have things like that. Um, the Ewok one, I guess, is fine. I'm not a super big fan of a lot of the characters they, they do. I don't, so I, I, I'm going to show all these off. I don't know if I'm going to add them all to the jacket or not. Um, but, yeah, let me show everything real quick. This one I like a lot. There's no vehicles in it, but it's a super sweet one. So we got the Rancor, which is super rad. The Bantha, Jabba. I, I, this might be my favorite of the uh, the little vacation things or whatever. I just really like the colors on that. Um, the Jabba's pretty cool. And then what does that one say? Um, Cantina something. I can't read it all. I'm trying to get it closed. Oh, yeah. Playing daily at Mos Eisley Spaceport. Okay, so yeah, yeah. A little cantina band thing. So that one's fun. I like that set a lot. And there's a few other sets I didn't get. I may end up getting some other ones. Uh, some of them I saw, and it's like, I only kind of like one or two. If I like most of them, uh, then it's not too bad. You know, buying a whole set and like, eh, it's like one you don't like. It's like, okay, it's fine. Like this one, for example. Really, really solid Yavin 4 set. You got the Death Star. You got this sweet X-Wing. Um, the Darth Vader tie, and then the uh, the medal that they they get in uh, Episode Six. Again, another awesome uh, postcard. That's the word I've been looking for this whole time. Postcard. Uh, now the Luke I don't love. Again, I, I might just give those to Chris or something. Um, but other than that, I mean, five solid ones. Really, really like that. Now this is the only exception of the ones that are of people, but I really like. Uh, so here we have the Camino set, which is Bad Batch focused. Um, again, the postcard's awesome, but I don't know. There's something about the these two that I really, really like, the Hunter and, and Crosshair. So I, I think I may actually add them to the jacket, and then I, I like this whole set. This is the only one where I think the whole set is definitely going on. Um, yeah, that, like I said, that one... Probably not going to do Luke. This one, I'm probably not going to do Leia or C-3PO. Although the C-3PO, I think, is a little bit more fun than the Leia. Just because it's so shiny. And actually, I'll probably actually uh, I'll probably put this whole thing. I think the Jawa's kind of fun. Because, I don't know, it's like, it's enough detail for the Jawa. I feel like the other ones are kind of too small. And, I don't know. Let me know what you think about them. And I don't think they're terrible either. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, I'm, I'm filling this thing out decently well already. Um, and I don't want to just throw any Star Wars pens on here. I want to put ones that I really like on here. 
Uh, and I am, like I said, really happy about um, being able to get some vehicles and stuff. I do want to get more vehicles. There wasn't a ton, actually, really. It was just four vehicles, unless you count the Death Star. Um, but this, the, the Beast and stuff for the Tatooine ones are pretty cool. So these sets, again, they're on Amazon. Uh, some of them are on sale. Uh, I think pretty good value. I think some of them were like as low as like $10 maybe, like $10, $15 and stuff. Um, and then also for those of you that don't know, anybody that maybe wants to get into pins or has gotten pins and lost pins because they fall off or whatever, um, you can put pin locks on. And so like this, I think I paid $15 for a hundred of them. Um, and, and these will snap in place and secure your pins. So if it is something you are wanting to do, or maybe you have done, you have some pins and, and the, the back pieces always fall off, get some pin locks off Amazon. They're super cheap. This is, uh, all this sounds very sponsored by Amazon. <laughs> I'm going to actually start with adding the Yavin 4 set. All right, so it's just a lot easier to just take off the, the vest and that way I can mess with it and get all the pin locks in on there. But I didn't add all of them again, so I didn't add the C-3PO uh, or Luke Skywalker on this one. Uh, but I'm also going to kind of wait and save. I want all the postcards to go together and I haven't quite decided where I'm going to put that. But I added the X-Wing here, Vader's TIE Fighter there, the Death Star there, and then the uh, little... Uh, cere ceremonial badge there. All right, and since I'm focusing on the Empire, and so like I kind of started with my Rogue One p pins here, and then you know added Invader, and then you know this this more recent indoor stuff or Yavin stuff, or yeah Yavin stuff. Now I want to add some of the indoor, uh, at least the Scout Trooper and the uh, ATST up here. Oh, and also did forget to show off. They do come with this little stand, so you can actually like they're kind of nice cases. So if you want to just display them, you could. Seems kind of weird, but felt like I should let you know. Alrighty, so I was able to add the ATST as well as the uh, Scout Trooper here with the speeder bike. The Scout Trooper, I think, is the only pin in any of these sets that actually has two uh, backing port, uh, points to it. I really wish this one did. This one seems to want to lean to the right and not stay straight, which is a little bit irritating. Uh, a lot of the times... You know, like, for example, this Stormtrooper one, he'll kind of just rotate and I'll find him upside down or whatever. These are really cool because, uh, let's see, the Death Star is not like that, but, like, this one is where the pin's actually at the very top of it, so gravity just keeps it weighed down. And same, like, like these, you can see I can flip them and they'll, they'll fall back in place. Um, so either having two points or having one at the top is, is preferred, but they don't always uh, have them like that. A lot of times... With most pins, you'll find it just have one in the center, and that can be kind of irritating. But then, like, you know, some of these bigger ones that I got off Etsy, they have two on them, and so, like, they'll stay perfectly in place, and that's that's really nice. So I guess we'll stick to that uh, that same side there where I added all the Empire. Now it's going to be a little bit tricky to add in the Bad Batch because I have to make sure I save room for those other Bad Batch members that I will be getting in the hopefully near future. All right, so these additions are probably going to look a little goofy until I get the rest of the Bad Batch members in because I have, do have this big empty space here where they're going to go, but I added the extra or the, the titles, I guess, on the side. Uh, I put the big wrecker head at the bottom. And I put the little guys here. I don't love that positioning, especially one's kind of covered by the tag, but it's kind of the best place I have for them now. Once I get the other ones in, I might move those around might move these guys around to see if I can find a better spot. But it's kind of hard to say without having those other pins in yet. All right, and the last set I have is uh, the Tatooine set, which I guess, and then, you know, and then we're going to be doing the postcards after that. Um, the Tatooine set, I guess I'll try to fit around Boba Fett and all the Boba Fett I have on the other side. All righty, so up in the top here, we added the Jabba, Bontha, and uh, Rancor. And then, let's see, I added the Jawa there. And then I added the uh, Cantina Band thing there. Oh. Is that everything? Okay, yeah, Cantina Band. And then, yeah, so that's all of... These are more examples of, like, ones that are always rotating. They're kind of irritating. I really wish they had two things in them. Uh, but anyway... 
So there's, yeah, that side is, is pretty full. I do have some empty space here, but there are some additional of these little circular uh, planet ones from this guy that I get my stuff off of Etsy. He's got some more of them that I want to get and fill this pocket up. I think it's two or three more. I don't think it's more. I think it might just be two. But yeah, now I just got to figure out where on all this to put the postcards. And I'm not really sure exactly where yet. All right, so I got them just kind of running down the side here. Um, I may swap to put like have two here and two over here, but that's just kind of what I did for now. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on, and let's just kind of you know see how I like it. Alrighty, so here we are. There's the uh, postcards. Again, do you think it looks all right like that, or maybe it should be? Kind of two and two, or maybe you should go somewhere else. I don't know, or maybe it'd be, oh, maybe it'd be better to kind of have two here and then two to the right of you all. I guess you know, be my left, but maybe that because I, I, there, there's some other ones that I might get, so it might kind of look good to have them like that. But then, uh, yeah, I added. A, oh, let me get my hair out of the way. But I added a bunch up there. Well. It's kind of bunched up. There we go. Yeah. And then added a bunch up here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along. Really need the the rest of that bad batch. And there's a bunch of other cool ones I'd like to get. Uh, but yeah, this is I guess that this makes more sense to show it off this way. I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I like the way it's come out so far. Uh, we did not use all of them. I Some of these, like, I was thinking about maybe putting that Ewok one on there and the C-3PO. I may go back and do that. Um, there's the Luke. What else was there? I think those are the only ones I didn't use. I mean, I used most of them. Um, and, yeah, so that's the update for now. Um, let me know what y'all think. I think I will go back. I think I like that idea of having them kind of with two two height and then have them go across and then when I get more I don't think I think there's maybe only two or three more that I didn't get I can't remember but just having them all go across I think that'd probably look best but that's it for today thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time mm -hmm. ah.